What's going on guys, Gitchu1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I'm bringing you guys my customization guide for the Huntley S in Grand Theft Auto Online. This car was released just yesterday with the High Life update, and so far, overall, I think I like it. It's kind of a bigger, boxy SUV, but it's got a good feel to it, it kind of looks luxurious, and I really do like it, but it's the customization options that'll really uh, either sway me in the, the good direction or the bad direction. So, we're gonna drive into the Los Santos Customs and see uh, what the options are for this. And I should mention that this car does retail for I believe $195,000 for those of you who are wondering. So I have not seen the customization options uh, ever before, so I'll be seeing them right now for the first time. So let's take a look. Armor, you've got the usual 2460, 80, 100%, and uh, that's uh, some expensive armor. $40,000 for armor, but hey, I guess it's all always expensive. Brakes, the usual, the uh, four usual street brakes. Uh, engine, you know, the usual once again. But this is where things will get, uh, you know, vehicle specific, like the exhaust here. You're going to see some unique things here, hopefully. Uh, chrome tip, dual exit exhaust, dual titanium exhaust, or big bore exhaust. So uh, those those are really small upgrades. Chances are nobody's going to even notice those uh, exhausts. But, you know, still cool, still cool. Not trying to bash anything, you know. Um, explosives, the usual, ignition and remote bomb. And hood, let's see what we've got with the hood. We've got a vented hood, a double vented hood a carbon hood, and a carbon vented hood. Well, I think I'm going to be keeping this car. I think so. We are going to do a carbon vented hood. So, alright. Um, actually, and I'll do my exhaust as well, real quick. Um, I guess we're just going to do the big bore exhaust. When I upgrade my cars, I like to go all out. Except for engine upgrades. We're going to go for aesthetics today. Horn, you've got the usual options. As usual, I'm just going to scroll through, your, through these real quick. You've got 24 options. We are not going to play them all. Lights, you've got regular and xenon. This time, I'm not putting the xenon on. Theft and loss prevention, as usual. License plates, you've got the blue on white, blue on white 2, uh, blue on white 3, yellow on black, or yellow on black again. Uh, we're going to go with yellow on black because I like the black look of this car. And the respray options. Alright, as you can see, you've got a primary and you've got a secondary. Uh, let's see, obviously the primary, um, we're not going to change right now, but obviously the primary is going to be everything that you see here changing. <laughs> secondary though, let's see what secondary changes, because I'm actually not really sure, so... Um, oh, okay, not too much changes. The roof color changes. Oh, okay, that's cool, I actually do like that. You've got the uh, pinstripe going down the side, you've got the bottom, and you've got the roof. And uh, honestly, that, that actually doesn't look too bad, I kind of like that. I wonder if the hood changes as well. Uh, we should find that out, because we put on the carbon fiber hood. What if we remove the hood? Is that is that included? Um, hopefully I'm not going to have to repay to put it on. No, it looks like I already own it. Okay, now let's go back to secondary color here. And will that change with the uh, the colors there? Ah, it does. Cool. All right. In that case, I will not put the hood on because I like that. Uh, I like this. I like this a lot. I like the secondary options. I like how the hood and the roof and the stripes down the side are all included. And <laughs> as fruity as that looks, I actually like actually like the way the pink and the white looks. Um, wow, a lot of different options here. For now, let's just go with a placeholder color. Uh, what do we like? What do we like? Um, ba -ba 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 for now, we shall just go with. Oh, that's too expensive. Um, for now, we're just gonna throw this galaxy blue on until I decide what I actually want. Okay. And then, of course, you can throw on the crew emblem. All right. So roof. Let's see. You've got the roof rack. Wow. Barely even noticeable. Barely noticeable. Uh, but it is an upgrade, and it's also the color that uh, you know, the secondary color. So that's good. So I guess we'll throw that on there. And uh, the cell option, of course, and the suspension. We're still waiting on Rockstar to add in uh, lift kits, but hey, that's some more uh, drastic suspension than we're used to seeing. As you can see, that is a pretty big difference. Usually on the supercars and sports cars, you're barely seeing any difference at all, but uh, that's, that's a very noticeable drop, so that's at least cool. Um, however, since this is an SUV, why would I want to drop an SUV? I mean, uh, you know, I don't want to be bottoming out on things, so we're not going to do that. Transmission, you've got the normal upgrades. Uh, turbo, once again, the normal turbo tuning. And the wheels and windows. Okay, those are going to be the final two things. Windows, of course, you've got the uh, limo tint, and that's what we're going to go with. And then lastly, you have got the wheels. So, the wheel type we're not going to change, just because uh, this already comes with some pretty nice tires. Um, 
you know, these are all cool. Oh, maybe we will change it. Uh, yeah, we'll change it. We'll change it. Um, we're just going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with these. I like these. Okay. And that should be pretty good. As you can see, that is... Um, well, then we'll, we also got wheel accessories. So, uh, atomic tires, 5000 bucks. It's a little too much to have the word atomic on your tires. And uh, we're not going to worry about the smokes right now, but, you know, you've got them there for uh, for you to pick. So, with that, guys, that is all of the customization options for the Huntley S in Grand Theft Auto Online. And as we pull it out of the Los Angeles Customs here, you can see that this is definitely an attractive SUV. It's uh, pretty cool overall. Um, Rockstar, I would have to say, really won me over with the secondary paint job. I didn't know what would be changing. I thought maybe just something very subtle. But I really like the accents on this. You got the roof, the hood, the stripe down the side, the stripe along the bottom, and uh, that looks to be it. But overall, I think it makes for some fun customization. I really enjoy it, and I think Rockstar did a pretty good job. So with that, guys, please check out my other customization guides if you're interested in the other new DLC cars and their upgrades. But uh, besides that, please stay tuned for more videos in the future. I will see you next time.